Hi, it's Tim from OracleBase.com. In this video, we'll demonstrate first party cookie based authentication or basic authentication for Oracle REST data services when run on Tomcat. AUDS gives us a number of options for web service authentication and authorization. First party authentication is one of those options and is most suitable where the calling client is inside your company, so you may not consider it necessary to use OAuth authorization. I'll be creating an auto REST web service to demonstrate the authorization setup. I'm going to race through that bit, so you might want to watch one of the previous videos that covers that functionality. We create a test user called test user1 and grant it the create session and create table privileges. We connect to the new user and create the empt table. We insert the usual data and now we're ready to start the web service configuration. We enable ORDS for the test user 1 schema and assign the base path of HR. This is a schema alias used in the web service URLs, which lets ORDS know it's dealing with objects in the test user 1 schema. We auto REST enable the EMP table, giving it an alias of employees. This automatically generates a number of RESTful web services, including one to retrieve employee information for a specific employee. This is what we'll use for our testing. Before we start, let's test the web service. When testing security, I find it easier to see what's going on if I do it from the command line using the curl command. We are using a self-signed certificate, so the minus K option stops curl complaining about the weak certificate. When we run the command, we see a JSON document returned containing the employee information. Always uses roles and privileges to protect services, but these are nothing to do with the database roles and privileges. We use the create role procedure in the ORDS package to create a new role called emprole. The user ORDS roles view allows us to display information about existing roles. The define privilege procedure is one of the ways we can create a privilege. In this example, we create a new privilege called emprev and associate it to the role we just created. In the same command, we're also associating the new privilege with a specific URL pattern. This means anyone accessing a URL that contains a match for this pattern will need the emprev privilege to run it. Notice using this method we can associate multiple roles and patterns in a single step by adding them into the roles and patterns arrays. The user ORDS privileges view displays information about privileges. The user ORDS privilege roles view displays the relationship between privileges and roles. And the user ORDS privilege mappings view displays the relationship between privileges and patterns. If we try to access the web service now, we get a HTTP 401 unauthorized return code. This call produces a lot of HTML output, so I've used the minus I flag to display the header information, and I'm using grep to only pull out the status. The steps so far are common to many of the authentication methods supported by ORDS. Now comes the bit that's specific to first party authentication on Tomcat. We edit the Tomcat users XML file in the Catalina base conf directory. We define a Tomcat role matching the name of the ORDS role we created earlier. Then we create a Tomcat user who is a member of that role. These are the credentials we'll use to access the web service. We restart Tomcat for the configuration changes to take effect. Once Tomcat has started, we can test the new credentials to connect to the web service. Remember, without credentials, a call to the web service returns a HTTP 401 unauthorized return code. Here we're passing the user credentials made up of the Tomcat username and password separated by a colon. When we run this, we get the output we'd expect from the web service. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.